Hello and welcome to our Inspire Quick Series. The following tutorial will help you get started with Inspire. We will walk you through setting application defaults, adding a new instrument, performing a frame alignment, creating dimensions, and generating a report. Once Inspire has been successfully activated, utilize the Getting Started process to choose the default settings. There are several optional settings. Select which instrument you would like to automatically add with every new file. You may choose to have the default instrument connect to Inspire upon open as well. These settings may be changed at any time in the Instrument tab. Specify the units and decimal precision to use as a standard for all of your projects. You may manually add new hardware at any time by selecting the Add New Instrument icon in the appropriate tab. Choose the manufacturer, type of instrument, whether or not you would like this saved as a default, and then Add and Connect. Click the eye in the tree next to the first instrument to hide it. Now that we have all the settings specified, Simply begin measuring your first feature and Inspire automatically solves which geometry type it is based upon the number and spread of your measurements. As shown here, two points create a line, but add a third point and it turns into a plane. Press the advance button on the arm when you are ready to measure your second smart feature and the delete last button to clear the active projection plane. Notice in the action pane that the name changes from Smart Feature to the geometry type when iterating. Next, let's establish a coordinate system from the measured features and utilize it to align to a nominal frame. Navigate to the Alignment tab and choose Frame Alignment. Notice the Properties panel appears to the right as well as a prompt which allows for selection of the primary, secondary, and tertiary features of the measured frame. Depending on the feature type, you may need to press Enter after selecting it since some features allow for two selections. Choose the CAD Import from CAD tab and select the model that corresponds to the parts you have measured. There are several options at your disposal when creating a frame. In the Details table, you may change the direction of the primary and secondary axes. Note that with each change, the frame automatically recomputes. To redefine a feature, simply delete it and pick another feature. As depicted here, the selection of a line as the tertiary feature when the secondary feature is also a line will place the point of origin at the intersection of those two lines. You may choose a different frame to align to in the details table. You may also change the offset of the frame in any or all coordinates as well. Enter a different unit, such as millimeters, and Inspire will convert it to the current job unit. Let's say that you would like to measure two circles and report the distance between the centers. Measure each one and then select the Add Dimension icon in the Reporting tab. Pick each circle and a dimension populates in the graphical view. Both angular and linear dimensions may be constructed and there are multiple settings that may be changed within the Properties panel. When it is time to generate a report, navigate to the Reporting tab and select Create Report. Here is a preview of a simple report that has been generated, which includes a cover sheet. From here, you may export it to a PDF file. Come explore all the customizable reporting options we have to offer in Inspire today. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us at discoverinspire.com.